Pinot Black busting balls, folks. Casey. And they're, they said happy birthday to Steven earlier. So those are the culprits playing around with that sign. We'll see who puts the flags up. So somebody put the Texas flag up. And someone put the Canadian flag up. Hmm. I want to know who they were. This guy's wondering too. <laughs> now, check this out. Whoa. I can't, yeah, because oh, that's as close as we're going to get. They had to be the ones that did it because, okay. And this guy's like, what the hell? Or he that or he helped him. So you can go back and watch the video down there. But that's about as much as we got going on at Casey right now. Is that we got Texas flag and the Canadian flag flying next to the jack. Or, oh, the Australian flag. Sorry about that. I really apologize on that. And I'm not sure if that's just the Australian one or if it is one of the islands. Okay. So. Evidently, what happened at the very end, too? Something showed up. Yeah, there's nothing in the sky down there in Casey. I mean, when there is, you've seen it go by there. It, like, just before. Yeah, let's go back there. So that's our scientifical there, besides busting balls. So we go to PM, and then you'll see it come across the top of the roof just before... Watch the top of the roof here. It's going to come by real fast on the top of the roof. And that's our object right there. At midnight, 12, 1 o'clock. Okay. Then you get the flag action. So, and then we got a GPS action going on too. Ooh. Alrighty. So, I got a feeling somebody's going to be watching those flags of the satellite. And sending silent messages. I don't know why I'd know about that, but. So, check out the uh, positioning on the. Uh, it's probably scientific, too. They're going to be setting up just like when you're seeing anybody doing GPS for when they're putting a new highway or road in. They set that up. This is a GPS signal sender. So, it's pretty close if they've stepped that off between there and the flag. So, uh, definitely there's some universities talking between each other since it's not federal because that's the Texas flag and there's a Canadian flag and there's one of the Australian or island flags of the British Jack. It's small in a corner. So, you also see it that it's got that down there. So, if that's the recent Australian one or if it's one of the islands. Well, Australia is one of the islands. So, hello to everybody. You know, Brock is a big prick. Satellites, 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 ladies and gentlemen. And Bino Black's knowledge of satellites, folks. Here's a nice shot of the uh, joy coming in. Okay, so I'm going to go in and zoom in on the, sorry about the mic check there, and then uh, we're going to zoom in on the joy comet coming in, and the idea that signal sender will help a satellite go down there and see those flags, and we'll be able to get some quiet messages from somebody somewhere. Uh, I'm sure it's the University of Texas and somebody from Canada just being proud that they're down there, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm sure we won't see any more flag action on those flagpoles, but I think we're going to see a lot of action on those flagpoles down there, folks. We're going to see what's going on. And people are going to be sending people silent messages here, and we're going to really see what's going on here pretty soon. So uh, you can see the uh, electric, if you look at this and get it on, it's on full screen, you'll be able to see the electrical zones and the protection of the sun and these layers and these light rays, okay, and eventually see that it's starting to make a head on it right now, okay. So we'll keep zooming in and we'll see, and the idea that it's closer it gets to the sun and you go back to the last photo and you will see these rays, matter of fact, I'll go to that real fast. You can see the uh, the currents of light and the electrical magnification of the sun that goes out, and the comets come into it, and then it starts making their heads get hot, and they'll be burn up or they will hit and make impact. We'll zoom in here. Get a good look at that head. Hang on. 
Okay, we'll zoom in. We're zooming in. And we'll get a good look at the joy up close as we can get it here. So as you can see, when it starts hitting these fields, you watch that head's going to get bigger. So we're at a thousand right there. So that's what you're going to futuristically see when it gets even farther in because you're going to get better views on it on Soho and so forth. So let me try to see if I can get Soho to get a live shot or the re most recent video they have of it. So let's pop out to 400% real fast. And then we'll go to 200. And there you go, folks. That's what we've been looking at. Okay. We zoomed in right in on Lovejoy or whatever they want to call it. Okay. Even though it's getting a little late, get outside and look at the Gemini meteor shower tonight. Either that or see what you can see tomorrow. But it should just be tonight and tomorrow. Uh, I mean tonight and it would have been last night too. Proxion will be look. Proxion will look real bright in the sky. Along with Gemini radiant, this is what you'll see in the sky. So it should be pretty dramatic. It's Gemini radiant. They know about it, and it's just like always shooting out. All right, it's a very rare occasion. And a pro scion just walked in the room and said, "It's pro scion, pro scion, folks." <laughs> this is the latest Lasco C2, and I'll go ahead and uh, refresh. And IE, my pirate site, folks, and then I just put this on here, and I, d I haven't spent much time there, but you can see it, the pictures that we put in the background, the idea that you can see that it, we, me, Soho, and everybody that watches the sun a lot has, has caught these uh, light comets coming through. So they haven't made as big of solar flares on the sun. They seem to be like the sun. Uh, watch these links and see if they stay up without getting messed with like I've had to do in the past and my site is basically up here you click on these now you can click on these and you'll get to the sites but most of these other rads informations you gotta go ahead and cut and paste these when you go to my site and there's the address up there for you to, to go to that link and you can also click that link on my YouTube site okay and you'll be able to go to there to the, and the idea that you go in here and you can see like I'm doing right now you can click on these and get uh, information of it should work fast enough here. I'm getting a little bit of a delay, but you'll be able to go in and take of actual scientific data shots of. Let me save some tape here, and as you can see, there's my link there also. But basically, you should just be able to get in the deal and click on the pictures, and you'll go to it. And there, it'll show you the sun is in the supergiants, folks. Okay, so let me go down to. And I'll save some tape time again and go back and then see there you can see that this guy and this is Soho shots and I there is some crazy stuff that happens up by the sun on Soho shots folks we get these light storms from outer space in there this has actually happened these are Soho shots the sun is right there flaring in the middle and uh, I use that for a background there and there's people on the internet that if you search around they've got some damn good shots of crazy stuff that happens up there by the sun ladies and gentlemen truth and data sharing and I'll save some tape for loading this and to save time folks I'm not going to go into giving you a brand new fresh shot it takes me a while to research and get in there and give you a new but these move around a lot and that's that red wing that we end up seeing there and there's all kinds of stuff folks I'm hoping to do a video on all the stuff that gets put on name brand products all the time that they use astronomical silhouettes to show stuff that's out there i.e. I showed you the Olympic medals and I can show you a lot of stuff and look at people's tennis shoes because you will see the Nike okay now Nike goddess Nike they have a totally legitimate to say that name okay that is the goddess Nike it's Olympic and it's a goddess that is in history okay so there it is there is the Nike ladies and gentlemen okay so all this stuff bleeds through and company companies have been using silhouettes that are out in space for years so make sure you keep checked out in here at my website folks Supergiants main sequence and let me go back to the main and 
And we haven't got to the point of needing donations yet, but if anything gets messed up with YouTube, folks, we will be here, okay? We will be here, or I'll make another site, okay? We'll keep you up to everything, the Super Giants, the sun going through the Super Giants and everything, and all the rads and the CPM and just about anything that's important on the face of the friggin' earth, okay? So... And folks, the photo gallery is right here. And the idea that uh, I haven't been able to load anything in there for a long time, and I didn't want to because I didn't want. I basically the ones that are in there are very important to keep in there historically. That we've seen it way early, and it's locked in. And I don't want to go in there and screw anything up and let anything out. Okay, so I want to get a hold of, and we're enjoying this site. So whoever it has this, if you see my videos. We love it. And it's got all the rad graphs. Fairbanks is a little bit lower. They still spike a lot though. And anything above 130, so I believe if I remember right, this used to be like 140 or something like that right there, or 150. That used to be the warning area that they'd know. You see how they go to 0 to 50? on the Because they haven't changed this outside side of the old graph, so right here right along here when you get above this this is when it gets dangerous okay so at least we know all the fish that you're going to eat are all right so eat some crab ladies and gentlemen kick back and eat some crab okay and don't forget the beef because we know that it's fresh and it's good so here we go we just go down through the rads and you can see the city pop up when they see the name and you can see the action and you can go to the site you can see it up right up there and that's where you go to check it out and he's got them all integrated there and there's nothing that's going to happen because the idea this is good that they have this site up because if they pull some crap and pull this stuff down then you know the shit has really hit the fan so they independently pull all the federal we have a total right to because you have a right to view it it's always been put there to view it needs to stay there when it gets blanked, you have reasons to be concerned, or your local politicians don't want you to see what the rads are because some big flapping mouth said that Hawaii was safe and says that he says home state and says that the whole country and everybody is subject to prosecution and. We know the truth. It's all from Japan. It's all from Fuka Fudge up. And everything's jacked up. Jacked up means jacked up like that. Like, jacked up like, yeah, like high. All right. Virginia, Harrisburg, Virginia, something's up. Something's happened. Which just better be Fuka Fudge up. Otherwise, the country's government's not keeping us informed, folks. So, anyway check that site out and I'll give you all the rad information okay so there's things to be interested in about folks okay I think just illegal immigration you got to worry about check that out I'm not lying to you folks that's Phoenix check the spiking and you'll seek radiation that was there before from the bomb test years ago so there you go i.e. when you look at any footage on Soho from the 14th, remember Venus and Mercury are far enough away that they're not really in the shots they shouldn't be. And I think NASA's pretty much got them all blocked off. They want to just see what's going on with all this constellation action and everything that's up there in that comet that's coming that they're calling Joy, whatever the hell. Alright? So, that's your constellation for the night evening of the 14th. I think this is Jupiter way up here. Yep. And what's very interesting in Hawaii, we get this, and also if you pay attention, now they block this out, and it's the idea that if you go to the footage on the 14th, this is the footage I ended up picking up, and it's hard to get it to load on the 11th, and you can see that it does actually start to work, because you can see these constellations right there. Let me pull it back again so you can see it. This is constellations in the sky. So it is bleeding through this here and this here and this here. And I don't know what they got fog overcast or what the hell's going on over there in Hawaii. But the idea 
leave a disclaimer, watch all the videos every day.